Hi, I'm Lindsay Kellogg. Tonight I'm riding my 18-year-old Stallion Eminence in the dressage demo right before the freestyles. Hi, I'm Brittany Frazier. I'm riding my 8-year-old uh, St. George horse all in. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ashley Holzer and I'll be giving the commentary tonight for the demonstration. I'm Chris von Martels. I'll be riding my 9-year-old Dutch Gelding Silver Star, also in the demonstration. Uh, currently, I'm competing this horse in a small tour, so pre St. George Inter 1, um, in international competitions, and I'm hoping to bring him to, to the Grand Prix level uh, this coming year. <laughs> I feel very fortunate to be able to coach these three riders. They are, in my opinion, top notch international up and coming superstars. They work hard, they train hard, they love what they do, their horses uh, are love them they're great riders so I'm I'm very fortunate and yes have they had a lot of success this year they've had a lot of success this year uh, I'm proud to be a part of that team it is a lot of teamwork uh, you know to be successful in the ring it's not just riding around every day at home there's a lot more that goes into it than you think uh, and these people have worked very hard and like I said very deserving of their awards I have and to we say we have a pretty good coach so. <laughs> and I yell at them a lot I yell at them a lot She's not bad. when they look like they're not doing their job <laughs> No, I, I think we are, Ashley said, we are very fortunate to, to have, uh, number one, very good horses, but we also have a lot of great support um, behind the scenes. So, of course, we have a great trainer that, uh, that helps us a lot, and we have, um, you know, our, our family that supports us and, uh, and friends. Yeah. And uh, that, that does, it, that's a major important thing for all of us, too. You know, we, we do, we train hard and we take things very seriously, but at the same time, we always do enjoy what we do and they help each other out and we're there for each other in the in the good times and the bad times because there's uh, often a lot of both so um, it, it brings a also a, a nice element to it as well can we talk about this on camera or really what's the what's the target of this no I think um, Ash is Ash is a, is a is a great role model for for us but I think also to uh, to everybody in the sport, whether you're, um, you know, grassroots starting off or, or the highest level riders. Um, and I think Ashley always does, um, you know, bring her level of experience to, to, to share to everybody, um, not only on a technical level, but, um, you know, for riding, but also on a, on a, a level of, um, you know, trying to help you make a, a good plan, like a real strategic plan for your show seasons and, and marking out what competitions we should do and, and really, um, guiding us on all levels of, uh, of the sport. Wow, where do I begin? <laughs> um, <laughs> so I get to watch Ashley train every day and she's incredible. Definitely probably the best rider in the world, in my opinion. This and my goddaughter, but this is my goddaughter, so she can't say anyway, anything. Anyway, <laughs> um, she's giving me endless opportunities to be able to compete and ride at the Grand Prix level. And um, she's the most generous person. I mean, she's the best. Nothing else to say. Like, I started working with Ashley last year, and it's been an amazing opportunity. I can't say nothing wrong. Um, I've learned so much. She's teaching my horse how to do the Grand Prix, so, so we're having fun at that. Sugar, sugar. It's the key. She's a sugar mama. Yeah. You know, it's funny, I've, I've been very fortunate to have seen many philosophies in life and with training animals, and I had someone come to the stable once that was doing clicker training. And I just, with an open mind, listened to what they had to say, and I saw the horses really flourish and, and, and like it when you gave them a little treat after they did something well. And if you've seen the size of my dog, who's quite large, <laughs> <laughs> I do with all my animals, <laughs> maybe a little too much, um, but I, I think it's, an, it's a nice way. I do think they learn in a positive atmosphere better than in a negative atmosphere, and it's just what I like to do. It works for me. <laughs> Ashley and I went over the end of August, and I rode her once, and we pretty much said, let's fire. <laughs> so, yeah, she... I've only been riding her for about a month now, and she's teaching me so much. She's such a nice horse. I'm so lucky to have her. I don't think it's ever easy. I think it's tricky. I have a very supportive family. I have supportive kids. Um, I would say it's you have to work at it every single day to balance out. And I don't think I get it. I don't think it's perfect all the time. I sometimes don't do the right thing, but I try to do the best thing. And I think. If you can learn from what works and what doesn't work for you and keep going on, I mean, I, it's sometimes tough to see people that on a world stage are winning all the time, 
but I don't think they do have a good balance in life. I think I would rather be as good as I can be with the balance that I have. And again, it works for me, but it's, it's work. <laughs> and Lindsay helps me a lot with the balance. And so does Brittany. We try. And Chris, <laughs> occasionally. And you, and you help me. <laughs> yeah, and I help him too. Do you have any tips like, for young guys? <laughs> yes, start riding. Start riding and stay in it. Because, there, like you said, there are a lot of women. No, I think, uh, to try to answer that question with a little bit of uh, seriousness, I think that um, it is a sport that definitely has um, you know, a lot more of a um, women population. Um, but I think that uh, it is also a sport that, that both men and women can equally be as successful as one another. Um, and I think that, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> that might be a hard question to answer early without <laughs> putting some sort of joke in there. But, um, you know, I, I, I think if you look um, at the highest level, I would say that there would be a, a pretty close ratio, actually, of, of number of top riders, both men and women. Um, uh, you know, if you would look I've at a major said, games. I've always said that's very interesting. If you look at how many women start, sorry, how many women start and how many men start, yet at the top. It's about the same. It's about the same. And sometimes a few more men. So it is, I guess you guys go to the top and do really well. So if you're a man, I would do it because you'll probably go to the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> I have a few horses that I'm going to be riding Grand Prix and we'll see how it goes. That's the biggest promise I'm going to give you. My <laughs> focus is really going to be about getting these guys in the ring to the best of their ability and getting them in the Grand Prix ring. And I'm going to really show the world what That's they can do. That's why we say that she's the best. <laughs> That's yeah, why I'm going to show the world what best. they can do. I think we have talent in this country. Um, Put it this way, when you see these, when you take a really close look at these horses on a world level, these horses are incredible horses. These riders are just as good. I think what's lacking in Canada is unfortunately the opportunity to show worldwide. What the Royal Winter Fair gives us is the atmosphere of a world class uh, competition to get these horses and these riders used to competing in such an atmosphere because it does change things. It changes how your horse feels underneath you, how your warm-up goes, um, a lot of things. So this is a great opportunity. I wish we could compete in Europe a little bit more. That would be nice. But I truly believe you're going to see a big difference in the next few years as to where Canada stands on the world stage.